Hey everybody, I am opening a new thing today. So I wanted to show you and open it with you because I'm excited. Okay, this is my first astrology deck. I, ooh, let's line up those lights. You know, I like to, if you, if you get a natal chart reading for me and <laughs> I turn the light on and pull your chart up, I like to line it up where the lights are around your chart. Um, if you know, you know. Uh, so, the Arcana of Astrology is the one I picked. Um, it was a pretty reasonable price, and I, you know, I'm kind of picky about what I want. So, um, I chose this one. Um, I'm sure I will get other astrology decks later, but I am a little bit minimalistic on how many decks I have. I don't keep, I don't get too many. Like, this is my entire collection. <laughs> Um, I have six decks, and, uh, well, that might not be true. I might have one or two more, but they're not, like, actually Oracle decks. Like, there's, like, one playing cards, and I have, like, um, a botanical thing, but it's not really meant for tarot or Oracle reading, but I've used it for it in the past. Uh, yeah, I had one other that was my first one, um... But I'm, I'm not currently using it. Um, I passed it on. So let's see. Get into this astrological deck of cards. The Arcana of Astrology. All right. Right away, I like the box a lot. Like, that's something else I think about because, like, you know, unless this one I have a box for that was gifted to me. Um, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> I really love the box, especially because this one is my uh, Rider weight and I have in here right now. But um, I love this box. I, I don't know if I'd want boxes for all of them. Um, but I love it for my main deck. And then I've got like all these boxes. I do think about like if the box is something aesthetically pleasing, if I'm going to like to see it. Um, you know, purple is not really a big color of mine, but I actually don't mind. Like, there's... Okay, anyway. Uh, how do I open you? Because... Do I have to cut here? Um... Also, excuse my hair. I got these, like, new things. I was just cleaning around the house, and so I was, like, not really ready to take a video. Not planning on taking a video, but here I am doing it anyway. Um... I think I have to cut there. Unless, no. Oh, okay, wait, wait, wait. Got it. Wow, look at that. The book is nice. It fits in there just, just right. <laughs> the cards, okay, this is, this might be annoying to put the cards back into after I've used them a bit. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's not that bad. We'll see. Um, let the stars be your guide. Okay. You know, look at the book first. Oh, that's pretty. That's actually pretty useful. It has the degrees and it has, it shows you what the lines are. Sometimes these charts that are made to look pretty and aesthetically pleasing um don't give enough information in my opinion so this is really nice um okay and it, yeah and it's okay anyway um all right some like astrology info that's nice and then we get into the cards we have the signs first Houses, the moons, the planets. Yeah, this is done really well. Oh, more of the. I guess we just had the ascendant up there. Uh, why? Ascendant. Huh. That's kind of odd. Why is the ascendant up there? And then it goes into the moon. Huh, well, it goes into the planets. Um, okay, well, whatever. The houses, we got first house, second house. And then what's this next one? The asteroids. Okay, cool. Ooh, she's, ooh, 
yeah, this is one thing I was looking for. I wanted them to include all of these. Nice. Ooh, I don't even use this one much. I'm gonna have to now. Hey, hi, hi, Gia, hi, Gia, hi, hi, Gia. Hey, Gia. Uh, I'll, I'll learn, I'll learn about it. That's so cool. Um, so I've been meaning to, I've been working on getting this one into my readings. Awesome. Oh, I'm so excited. This is, this is legit. This, this person, Claire, good child. Seems like she knows what she's doing. All right. We got Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. Of course, Scorpio. People put purple with Scorpio so much, and I just really don't like it. I just don't like purple. Like, I would have loved to have had, like, these warmer colors, but, you know, I am a Sag rising. Or not a Sag rising. I'm a Sag North Node, so I just can't get enough of that Sag energy. I just want more. Um... Let's see. And Aquarius is also the colors I'm not into. So good. Great. Good. Good. Okay. Um, Pisces. Oh, I love that. For Pisces. I love that one. Pisces. That color, those colors. Um, the Ascendant Sun. Okay, now I think I see why they did it. So they did Ascendant Sun, then all the moons. They got the eclipses and the planets. Mercury looks so fun. Look at that. Mm, mm, party. Like, <laughs> um, this isn't what I would think of when I think of Mercury, but like, this is cool. I like it. Venus, Mars. Ooh. It's kind of like dark for Mars. You know, it's more of like, like this color, right? Like an orangey red, but this makes it look like depthier than I would typically think of Mars. Um, I don't not like it. It's like very like bloodthirsty, aggression, passion. Um, yeah. Uh, when I say bloodthirsty, I mean like warrior type thing. Okay. Uh, Jupiter, ooh, Jupiter looks good. Saturn, that's interesting that they didn't do the rings. I guess like just you know, the semblance of a ring. And I think they wanted to keep, it looks like they wanted to keep all of these as just circles. So I like it. I like it. And I know that some of the other planets also kind of like have different like variants of rings, but Jupiter has its spot. So I don't know. Very cool. Um, Uranus, Neptune. I like this a lot for Neptune. It reminds me of that Pisces card, which is perfect. I wonder if they related it that way at all. Um, Pluto, yes. Score for Pluto. The only thing I would have maybe liked is to have, like, slight size differences on these. Um, but at the same time, like, I think the cards would probably look better with them all big. I didn't really think I'd have this much to say. It's already been, like, eight minutes. Okay. Um, first house, second house, this is cool. I really love that they had like the signs and the houses and the planets. That was something I was looking for. Um, I didn't want to like, you know, and the lunar phases, like I wanted all of it. Um, and then some of them I felt were like too specific, like, um, I don't know, like, like new moon in Scorpio. It's like, yeah, but I okay but that's like not it's like what I don't know I, I feel like you could pull those cards on their own rather than having like a huge deck of like every any anyway I don't need to get into that Vesta looking like Mercury a little bit huh Vesta look at you um Palace Athena Lilith oh well, we got a different symbol for Lilith than I usually use Hygia, Hagia, 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 I'll learn it. Eris, Psyche, and Eros. This is so cool. I love it. All right. Now, the only thing I usually like my cards to be like, like this has like a beige background. Like a, it almost looks like a, um, I don't know. But it, I usually like for that like clean, like white 
white look like with a border that was the only thing i was like i wish these were like white backgrounds with a border because that's just my style that i like more like most of my cards have that um like this one also oh mushroom tarot get out here got the border <laughs> i just like it um and then my aquarius saturn moon uh situation really likes for there to be like an all-encompassing like um like order like way things are like uh, uh what's the word i'm looking for like um i don't know things to be like uniform like even right now while i'm getting my house set up and like organized um i'm like okay well if i get storage like this is like i just think on too grand of a scale i think sometimes because i'm like well if i get little organizers like little organizer things for my drawers in the bathroom then I need to use the same brand in the kitchen drawers because then I need all of the drawers to have the same kind of organizers and then I need um like all of the light fixtures in the house and maybe some of this I think is in my favor but sometimes it goes too far um I need all the light fixtures in the house to complement each other. I need all of the uh, all of the hardware in the house to be the same color. I need all of the, like I just need everything to make sense. And then when something doesn't work, because it's kind of impossible to actually cater to everything, kind of like in like a government situation, you can't make a rule and have it just like fit everyone. There's going to be exceptions and things like that. And Sometimes I just, I just lose my mind a little bit over those things. Um, but, uh, like I had to make some, I had to, I had to learn to, um, adjust for my, uh, sink that I, my sink faucet that I got. Cause there's also silver in the kitchen and silver that I can't get rid of and change out for black. So I had to find a faucet that would match both of those and like. Now I'm like, okay, well, how much silver am I allowing in the rest of the house? And how much, and you know, like, I, it's just um, a whole lot. So I'm going to probably, sh I'm just going to shuffle these. And um, <clears throat> then, uh, <laughs> hey, come back. Come back to Wolf House. Uh, and then I'm going to pull a couple just for funsies. Maybe, um, well, I wanted to write Light My Dragon's Blood. I'm gonna, I don't have a good spot to light stuff right now, and these dragon's blood things I have are like ropes, which I don't know the best way to burn these, if anyone has a way they like to use to burn these little rope guys, um, let me know, but it smells so good. Um, I'm gonna use my astrology ashtray that I worked on to check out my other video uh, to hear more about this, but I love this thing. Um, let me grab a lighter. Man, I got these so long ago. Do I burn? Turn this in. Hey, hey. No, I actually haven't like smudged anything in this house yet. I know, like, oh, new house, Amy. Like, Aruka, whatever. Like, didn't you um, like cleanse the house and like do all of that? Like, kind of not really. Like. I just felt like this had a good energy before. The only time I felt like anything not completely good um, and just like very calm and safe and like home vibes. Like the only time I got any other vibe was uh, last night just cause like I'm working on my doorknob and like um, I, it's kind of like broken, it, not broken, but it's not complete. So like I felt like it, even though I, the door is locked, it can lock it like, there's still like a little gap and I felt like energy could come in and like, I don't know, I felt like susceptible. And so like, it felt like maybe some inner darker energy kind of came in for that. But like, I'm not scared in this house at all, which is so strange because usually I'm scared in every house I'm in a little bit. Like not scared, like terrified or something, but like, I feel like, um, I don't know. I don't know if it's if it's me picking up on stuff or if I'm just like um, kind of in my head because I don't trust the space. Because uh, it it usually feels like a darkness, like a dark mass or like a 
like an uneasy like shaky dark energy like uh, it's usually kind of how it feels like unpredictable dark and very fear you know very fear <laughs> type energy and I I just don't feel that here like I can walk around in the dark and like I don't know like I, I don't have any really I keep I keep thinking like why am I not feeling afraid why do I not feel fearful of this house and sometimes I think it could have something to do with um me just actually owning this house and this is the first house I've owned and it's not been influenced by anyone else anyone else's like energy um like I live here I have my kids here it's my house I'm not renting I'm not living with my parents I'm not uh renting from parents I'm not um in a dorm I'm like you know not in an apartment like it's just it's very like I can do what I want here I feel like it's safe to energetically even call this my own um even though like I don't know like I had help like I just think um this feels like it can be mine and I'm not cautious or like uh timid about like saying yes this is mine like energetically like no this is mine like everything else it felt like well, yeah, but this isn't really my house, so like I can my authority can only go so far. But now I feel like my authority is everything, and I can say no. I can say uh, I can set boundaries. I can have rules. I can have um, you know I can make changes. I can ask for help, but like I don't. I don't know. Like I don't. I'm not at anyone else's will, which. Ex when I once I'm allowed to set that boundary where I'm not like it really helps to be able to continue to set that in okay those really would be upside down oh my god um <laughs> in reverse um it helps me extend that into the rest of my life so that one also would be reverse um I think I might do reversals for this deck I typically do uh, it just gives me like a little more insight into like what the cards are trying to say like um, you know, not to just be like, well, this is the bad version of this card. Uh, I don't mean it like that, but like, um, sometimes it just adds a little extra, like, um, context. So, um, let's see, let's just do the, sh the shuffle, right? Because... Okay, do I do this as a pick a card? Should we do that? Just like short, quick little messages, because that sounds kind of fun right now. Because I could pull for myself, but like, I don't know. Maybe I'll pull one for myself, but. Um, let's see. What should I focus on the rest of the night? Jupiter, growth. Hey, opportunity. Taking opportunity. I feel like I'm doing that right now, Jupiter. And Lilith, like, oh yeah, I like that one for this. And Ninth House, hey, doubling up here, Jupiter and Ninth House for me. Um, and Lilith, really like owning it, taking my power, empowering myself, I mean, um, manipulating situations into my favor, making things work for me. Like, oh, I like this a lot for myself. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, I have a. Uh, Awesome. Okay. All right. I'm not going to dwell on that because you guys probably don't super care. Um, this really wants to be lit now. I don't, I think this is, I think this is maybe a sage. I don't, or rosemary. This is my rosemary, right? Yeah, this is my rosemary. I can probably smell it and, oh, got too much. Ow, ow, ow. Um, yeah, rosemary. <laughs> um, just chill. Oh my god, chill. Alright, here we go. Hmm. Oh, that adds a totally different vibe to this. I'll show you. Like, it was so crazy different. Okay, I was also thinking with this I could do like energy work because it has all the elements and I can lay crystals in to like fuel different parts of the zodiac um, for people's charts and I could do like clearing, like cleansing certain ones of the chart, protection barriers over certain houses or signs within someone's chart. So let me know if you guys would be interested in that because I think this would be really cool. I'd obviously like clean it and cleanse it before every time I did it. Um, 
because I'm probably also going to use this for uh, like smoking herbal stuff and um, everything like that outside on my patio, which I'm fixing up. So check out that video when it comes out. Um, I, I, by the way, um, I want to show you these. Hold on. I got blue lotus from Sacred Smoke Herbals, and I do have a code for them, um, Aruka15. Uh, gives you 15% off everything at Sacred Smoke Herbals. I love them so much. It's um, like woman-owned small business. It's in Arizona, I'm pretty sure. Um, she does amazing, amazing stuff. So let me show you these smokes I got. Okay, so from back. This is all some things I've recently, I've gotten more from them than this, but recently, ooh, actually, this rosemary's from them. So, of course, after I light that, I get on this topic. Um, that just flowed too well. Oh, my God. I love the universe, how that works. Okay. So, um, this is the Blue Lotus. I got the pre-rolls. I really like her pre-rolls. They're beautiful. Um, see, just beautiful. You can actually, uh, in person, you can see the little blue flowers through. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so nice. And... Uh, it has a little bit of information on the back. Uh, you can, let me see, will it focus? Mm. Um, basically, it, she, she talks about the history and um, how it gives a sense of a free-flying sense of euphoria, um, offers those who partake prosperity, fertility, and um, let's see... Uh, allows for your truest self to bloom and soar. Uh, get ready to fly on the wings of these tasty flying flower pre-rolls. So there's also CBD in here, uh, CBD and lotus flower, lotus stamens, lotus leaf, um, and she rolls them in organic hemp coats. So um, amazing, always. Also her Breathe Easy ones are really good. Um, I've known, I've had some friends who've gotten that one and, um, really noticed a difference, like with their sinuses, their allergies, their, um, other like breathing conditions. Like if they smoke like cigarettes, like being, ha having like less coughing and stuff. So, uh, very, very good stuff. This is also a CBD bath bomb I got from her and I was saving it for my new house. I haven't, um, haven't used it yet. Uh, and then these are some teas. Oh my God. I got a bunch of teas because they just look so cool. I think she's having a deal on them and um, I get her like messages and everything. So seven, the seven gates, a ritual to support full chakra body alignment, a ritual tea for meditation and spiritual growth, the high magic, love spell, a lover's magical herbal tea, lucid dreams, a ritual herbal tea for dream work, Awakening, a ritual herbal tea to open the third eye. And Empath, a ritual herbal tea for empaths and highly sensitive people. So cool. Okay, back to what I was doing. I'm going to put these things over, over here. Um, okay, <clears throat> let's go. Okay, so here's the pick a card. Quick pick a card for you guys. I'm going to adjust the camera a little lower. I know it's been really great looking at my shoulder and my neck, but... You're gonna have to, oh, you're just gonna have to be okay with just seeing the cards. All right, everybody, here is your pick a card. One, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, and four. So let's start with group number one. Oh, those fit nice over back there, don't they? Hey, okay, chill. So quick messages for group number one, full moon, cancer, and first house. So we have um, two components of, not components, but two indicators of a lot of emotion and like um, even dramatic emotion, really just like all of this. And it's all happening in your area of identity, yourself, the mask you between you and the rest of the world. Um, this could also indicate karmic lessons. So things may feel like full mood, like PMSE, really like like um, intense, like things going going array, like awry. Um, things like uh, being kind of 
a um, little bit crazy for you right now and you feel like it's really affecting your sense of self. Um, I feel like really just, let me see. I don't want to get ahead of myself because I, um, I feel like this is a really kind of like turbulent time for you, but knowing that like, you know, this phase of the moon does pass, um, like it becomes full and things are like crazy like that. And then it starts to wane and things calm down, things change, things are not permanent, especially during these heightened moments of energy, um, it will, it will calm down. Um, it's just really hard because this is something you can't turn away from. This is something you have to face. It's in your first house. Um, man, and that cancer energy can be so volatile. That's the word I was trying to think of earlier. Um, it's like all these moods and like feelings and trying to like wade the waters and like, it could be really difficult, you know, like you don't get to, you don't have Scorpio here. You don't get to like dive down past the waves into like the deep, the deep part of the ocean. And, um, you're riding with the waves. You are the waves. Like you have a lot happening right now within your sense of self. Um, and right, right in front of your face, things getting thrown in your face. Um, I, yeah, I do want to say like, feel your feelings with cancer, like the way to turn this I keep almost grabbing this other deck of cards, like, do I want to or not? And I, then I'm like hearing like, no, no. <laughs> um, so Cancer, you have this, um, this inclination or you're getting hinted to really make sure you're feeling your feelings. Um, Cause when Cancer energy tries to not feel their feelings, it doesn't, it still doesn't help the situation. You just need to learn how to feel them, allow yourself to feel them, go with the flow, ride the wave. And, uh, you know, you're learning to surf. <laughs> That's essentially what this is. You're learning to surf until the water's calm. Um, and this will probably give you a more established sense of self, make you feel more confident in the long run because things won't feel like you're just in amongst chaos. Um, okay, so that was your message. I'm going to move forward with group number two. Thank you for being here and watching. I love you guys. Um, yeah, okay. So group number two. We have Waxing Gibbous Moon, a new moon, and Leo. Okay, so... There's a sense of newness with the new moon, right? Fresh, clean slate, um, and really allowing yourself to be this vibrant, energetic, um, let's see, what's the word? Uh, chivalrous, um, like heroic type figure. Um, and it's something that not only is it new and like you're, you're, you're getting this like new, clean, like open opportunity to be this way, you're also, um, already like growing it. Um, having the waxing gibbous moon shows that waxing is, is building up to a full moon. It's building up to manifest a manifesting manifested state. Um, so it makes me think like maybe depending on how who all is listening to this message, um, some of you guys are at the new moon state and some of you are at the waxing gibbous moon state. And if you are at the waxing gibbous moon state, you still feel like this is fresh. Like you still feel like, like, um, motivated by this new moon type energy. And if you are at the new moon stage of this for yourself, you feel, and this is a good thing, um, like you have gone further than you have. And you know, that sounds negative the way I said it, but this gives you confidence to keep going. It's kind of like, um, like newbies at things that they just don't know how much they don't know. But if they knew how much they didn't know right away, then they would never move forward. Um, they would be overwhelmed and they would stop. <laughs> so, um, it's really a good, like motivating energy. And this is really good. Just being able to live yourself to the fullest and be your most vibrant, exciting self. Uh, let yourself be the center of your own universe for a little bit. You deserve that to some degree. Obviously you need to take 
Um, you need a healthy dose of ego. I don't take it too far, but um, you know, at the same time, you can't help others till you help yourself. You need to get yourself established and ready uh, before you can um, give that to other people. Uh, Self-love is a major thing here. Uh, a little bit of indulgence. I heard indulge in indulging. Um, I kind of got this like, when I, especially with self-love, like um, do what you, what gets you energized and excited, uh, especially with summer energy. This is a great, this is also, I'm hearing like a good indicator that you'll have a really fun, uh, good summer. Um, let's see. I think there's one more message here. Just give me a sec. Yeah, I keep looking at this wax and give us moon and hearing like, you're almost there. You're like nearly complete. Like, <laughs> like well, yeah. Um, but it's still also fresh. So um, also think of this as like long-term goals versus short-term goals. So it's kind of like you have all these new little goals and like there's this big one that you're like really making good, good progress on. Um, but like keeping yourself motivated by like, okay, here's another new little goal, mini like sub goal, sub task. Uh, within the big task or this big goal uh, and moving forward step by step um, and you're really made a lot of progress that this I'm hearing so much progress you're almost there it's almost complete um, so this is just really amazing I really love this for you guys group number two thank you so much for watching I'm going to move forward to group number three um, again uh, love you thank you group number three we have third house Aquarius and Pisces. Actually, these want to be flipped. Of course they do, Aquarius and Pisces. <laughs> um, all right, so I'm seeing right away this like purple blue is catching my eye because of course it is. Um, I always have a problem with it, so of course it is. But really, it's not, it doesn't feel like that. It doesn't feel like my own dilemma with the colors. It feels like something that is um, with you or like something with feeling like this ocean type blue and this like mystical type, um, really like, uh, I can't think of a word to describe this feeling, um, like a magnificent, insightful, I'm hearing insightful purple. <laughs> um, um, there's just so much beauty in these cards. This is very mystical pull, I feel like. Um, so you're really bringing this Aquarius energy and this Pisces energy through your, fir your th third, third, third house. Um, your third house is about, um, you know, basic education, common sense, mentality, communication, your social groups. Like, uh, it can also be like close, you know, like close, um, like family, close, like neighbors, close little groups of people or close, close communities, small communities that you're involved with. Um, so you have, um, you know, you're kind of becoming like this artistic outsider within your third house, but you're not, it's not necessarily, um, bad. You're bringing this unique energy and this like dreamy energy into those groups. And that can be something that can, um, take some time to really let settle in. That doesn't always, um, especially with, uh, how, uh, society has been, um, over the years, like more conventional, um, more conventional groups will have a harder time accepting this energy with it coming out of you. Um, or even say, you know, they'll be the first people to say that energy is just like a whole bunch of BS, but like, they're obviously picking up on a change with you. Um, <laughs> like, you know, I, something that I, um, say to people it just with those, to those conventional people, not that you need me to tell you what to say. I'm just saying like something that, uh, has helped when I'm talking to them is like, well, you know, maybe, um, you, aren't seeing, um, it for what it is because like everyone says things like that are, that are synonymous with energy talk. Like when you go walk into a room and it just feels different or like, you know, people say like, 
Um, I got a bad vibe off of them. They have bad, you know, I don't, I don't feel, I don't trust them. I, you know, you're picking up on things and you can call that like, um, you can pick any explanation of what that is. Like you can say that it's, well, your subconscious picks up on little details and blah, 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 blah. And then some people say, well, that's your intuition as well. Like your subconscious and your intuition could be the same. They could be tied together. Um, you know, or some people like there's all these explanations for the same things and none of them are really wrong. You know, you could also say like, well, the, the hormones off of that person, um, and the hormones that you have, like, uh, they made it where you don't, you don't vibe with them or, um, you're their gut bacteria and your gut bacteria don't met or are too similar. So like, this is a whole thing. Um, so like biochemically, uh, you're not attracted to them and like all these things. So like there's, um, you know, it, it, uh, there's so, you know, psychological, you know, you could remind you of somebody like I'm, I'm kind of getting off track, but it's all very Aquarian, Pisces type topic, so I'm just gonna roll in with it. Um, it's all one and the same, and that's kind of part of this awakening. And I think part of your awakening is happening in these social groups, and you're just starting to display it through social groups, uh, these smaller ones. Um, so maybe like celebrate this energy by like getting a couple friends together that also have these Pisces uh, Aquarius. Um, vibes coming off of them right now like people that are also like ready to get into like um, these newer uh, not really new but like uh, more like um, oddball type of uh, concepts and this could even not be uh, spiritual um, this could be like some kind of like um, other kind of out what's the word um I hate period alien but that's that's not the word, exact word I'm looking for um like outlier like <laughs> there we go um other outlier type of activities that include like an artsy dreamy fantasy type thing like this could also have to do with like gaming and this could have you know the technology and then like illusions escapism into another realm um this could have to do with like uh sci-fi stuff this could be like um uh like can, uh, what sci, what was it? Um, is it sci-fi convention? That's not right. You know what I'm saying? Um, what, let's see. Um, where they dress up. What's the word? You know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I don't know why I can't think of the word. Um, anyway, this could be any kind of like thing that's not conventionally accepted and that is kind of artsy as well, or kind of escapist. Um, this could be kind of like, and anyway, it, there's a lot of things that this could branch off into within the realms of Aquarius and, and Pisces. Um, but just celebrate this energy by doing what you want to do with like a couple friends, like a small group of friends. Um, you know, so there's like literally three of you, third house, so, like, um, uh, being able to talk about it and kind of like make little jokes about it and mentally stimulate each other, <laughs> like, over this new, this subject, uh, this energy that you guys are vibing with, like, well, that should be really fun for you. And I, I really hope that, um, this is a good time of your life, um, that you're going through experiencing with this. Um, and this is a little bit of a, ment a mentality shift, a little bit of a mindset shift, because you're, um, you're getting into these, the eldest two signs of the Zodiac. These are really awakened types, type energies at their highest. Uh, they are very, um, they're very good at looking at things from a much higher perspective. Um, and third house is, uh, you know, the third in the Zodiac. So it's kind of like your brain is like catching up with, um, this spiritual awakening energy, um, or with delving into one of these subjects that I mentioned earlier, like, uh, like sci-fi or whatever, like whatever you're into. Um, yeah. Okay. That's, I'm going to call that good for you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you so much for being here and listening. I'm going to move on to group number four. Group number four. <clears throat> I'm going to get ready. Okay. okay. Here we go. Saturn. Hey. And Virgo. Oh, and waning gibbous moon. Oh my gosh. I'm getting a way different energy off of these cards. Than my other ones. Um, 
Okay. Saturn and Virgo are both um, kind of strict, kind of harsh, a little nitpicky, kind of like detail oriented. Like, all right, we're going to do all the these details. We have a routine. We have an overarching structure, which is a word I was trying to think of earlier. Thank you, Saturn. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> so these, on um, this is a little bit harder for me to talk about because natal natally, these are all difficult kind of aspects for me, but um, so this may be actually difficult for you all. It might be a signal to me to let you guys know, like, this is a difficult time for you. Um, and to acknowledge that, even though sometimes these planets like Saturn will really demean or like um, belittle those feelings of being overwhelmed. It's like, well, uh, I'm going to overwhelm you, but don't, don't be ridiculous. Don't be overwhelmed by that. <laughs> um, and then Virgo is like, well, it's, you know, Saturn just wants you to, to buckle down and make it work. And sometimes that just doesn't happen. It can't happen. Um, Virgo uh, really wants, you know, you to just get in tune with it and make a routine, do all these little chore type little tasks and organize and, and make everything come together in a nice orderly fashion, nice, neat, fat way. And, um, you know, sometimes with these two, um, it can get really overwhelming. Um, you may feel like an excessive need to kind of like plan and, and, and do these goal setting and uh, making sure like you're, you're structuring your day and structuring your parts of your day. And like this can get really like snowball effect into um, taking things a little too far. Um, but the waning gibbous moon, I feel like this may be something that you are reaching the end of. Maybe you are about to burn out. Maybe you are, and when I say burn out, like you may feel like, well, I'm, I'm doing fine. You know, burnout maybe feels like more of a physical fatigue, but this is a mental psyche type fatigue, like a spiritual type fatigue. And you're reaching the end of it. Um, as waning gibbous moon, um, you're starting, you know, the moon, um, reaches full and then it begins to wane to the new moon. So this is something that you can release and let go of if you choose to. Um, I would, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not asked to give you advice. If, if you want my personal advice, I would say this is something to let go of um, and start to release. Um, give yourself a little more wiggle room, give yourself a little more leeway, a little more um, space, but really, listen to what your intuition is telling you because for some of you um maybe you do feel like you need to try a little harder and maybe you do feel like this is the time to really get your shit together get things in order like do the paperwork do um everything you need to do to make something happen uh this is like you're reaching the last section of that happening so um for some of you i think this is a message to release this energy and for some of you I think it is like hey good job keep going we're almost there you're gonna make it happen um it's just stressful and difficult so I hope that was helpful for you guys um let me know if you, there's any other type of card reading that you would like to see from me especially with these new cards I'm so excited to have these new cards um and uh thank you for watching and being here I love you guys so much um and I will see you later bye